After spending some time in Cartagena, I went to Miami for a conference on living kidney donation. Just got back last night and met Laura here in Medellin. Yeah, when Josa was in Miami, I came here to Medellin to visit a friend and we have amazing time. The city is beautiful and tag along to see our adventures. We're Josiah and Laura and we exchanged traditional comforts for a life filled with adventure, peace, and freedom when we moved into our van Paz in June of 2021. Join us as we explore alternative ways of living outside the system. We have been in Medellin for a few days now and it's amazing. <laughs> it's beautiful to hang out just outside and in nature because Medellin has a lot of nature and also a lot of nightlife and it's amazing that we can have a lot of fun and enjoyment without alcohol. Yesterday we were talking about this topic, alcohol, because we, in this point of our life, we don't need alcohol to have fun. We don't need alcohol to socialize or go to dance and to enjoy the night lifestyle. We don't need to, to drink alcohol. And it's very interesting or it's kind of weird because in Colombia, there is always an excuse to drink, right? Even in family gathering or any event, holidays, vacations, or even at funerals. Colombians, they, they always have a good excuse to drink. I started drinking in junior high, high school, like maybe when I was 14, 15 years old. And obviously my friends and I, we couldn't buy alcohol. So we would play Hey Mister, right? We would go to a gas station and ask you know, hey mister, will you buy us some beer, some alcohol? And because it was illegal, you know, it was it was something we weren't supposed to do. So we would drink all of the liquor. Like no matter how much we had, we would finish it. It was never like, okay, let's go have a couple beers. It was like, let's get really, you know, drunk. Wasted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, uh, you know, point of no return, like streaking and passed out and puking. And I mean, lots of different yeah. stories like that. And that was just like my relationship with alcohol. So even as I got older, you know, I, I was like a binge drinker. I didn't drink all the time, but when I would drink, it was like, you drink to get, you know, fucked up. You, you drink to get wasted. And in Miami. Yeah, I mean, when I moved to Miami, like the whole social scene is related to, or it's like, it's surrounded by alcohol, whether it's like happy hour or, you know, dinner with drinks or going out with drinks or pre-gaming before you go out with drinks. <laughs> like so much of the lifestyle there like it's fun but at a certain point you know i started reconsidering like is is do i want to keep doing this <laughs> i grew up in an environment where people abused alcohol and i remember i grew up with this like rejection of alcohol and i'm not saying or i don't want to say that though those events traumatize me but it affected me. Even I remember that I hated to go to family gatherings. I hated to go to like reunions or events because I didn't want to see people that I love uh, drinking until they are wasted. I used to judge those people, people close to me, because I never understood why you need to drink until you lose your mind and then embarrass yourself. It doesn't make sense for me and I hate it. And then when I started uh, studying at college, I became one of those people. Like, not, never in my family. My family don't, don't know this. <laughs> my family they don't. They do now. <laughs> my family doesn't know about this <laughs> because I never drank in front of them because I didn't want to I really want them to be disappointed. I'm not proud of saying this, but I started drinking with my friends in my social circle because I wanted to fit in, I wanted to be accepted maybe because I had insecurities. And it, this is an important part because what we think about drinking to hide our insecurities. Yeah, I think, I think it's really interesting that like the default is that you drink like everyone drinks that's what within society like we're supposed to do to be cool to fit in and i mean hey i get it like i was doing it as well um i just think especially as we get older it's worth considering like if what we're doing is just to fit in 
or to be accepted? Are those people really accepting us for who we are? Or like this mask that we're wearing just to because look like them? Yeah. And like think about think about drinking for a second. Like it's not healthy for us. Like no part of it is healthy for our bodies. As we get older, we feel horrible the next day. Yeah. Yet we like lose all inhibition when we're drinking. We, you know, put our defenses down. We let loose. My decision to stop drinking just over two years ago was when I left Miami. I realized like I was drinking all the time and just because like we were going out all the time and it was normal to drink. And so when I left Miami, I just decided like, let me see if I can go a couple months, you know, no, no alcohol, no sex, like just cut things, all the distractions (laughs) out of my life and see, you know, see if I can do it. So like prove it to myself. And as I did that, I felt like I was able to, like, it supported me with being more authentic. And I realized how much I was relying on alcohol for, like, liquid confidence. Just, like, feel comfortable and let loose. And for me, like, my objective at that point, I wanted to be as authentic as I could, as I could be, without the help of any substance. And it's, I mean, it's been a journey for sure. Like, I feel, I felt really uncomfortable going to events where everyone's drinking and I'm not drinking because people ask if I want to drink and I'm like no I'm I, I don't drink and it's like oh okay I'm like that's good for you man like <laughs> keep it up and I don't know maybe people mean well by it but it makes me feel like I'm like a recovering addict which <laughs> I never consider myself to be an addict but like why can't someone just not want to drink and, and be normal exactly but something that I wanted to say when you were talking about you were drinking every day when you went out and maybe when we're young we don't have any problem with that because we wake up next day because we are young and wild and then we feel normal normal but when you start growing up and getting older (laughs) it makes a lot of damage to your health like a vision circle because you feel bad because you are not happy you have you don't have the life that you want and you ended up drinking to forget about those things. Yeah. And then the next day you feel horrible or you feel worse. Well, you... like, like look at the commercials, like the beer commercials or liquor commercials. It's like, if you want to celebrate, go drink. If you get in a breakup, go drink. If you, you know, someone dies, go drink. It's like yeah. all of this, like real emotions that come up in life. A lot of people, like society encourages us to deal with them by drinking, to forget about them, to suppress them, to avoid them. And like, that is not healthy for your mental health. No. Like, I, I think we can all agree think, that. Mm-hmm. But, and it's like, it's such a big distraction from actually doing that's, the work. Yeah, that's what I Go wanted it. to Go say. I remember the day I decided to stop drinking. It was one of my yeah. birthdays and I was wasted. And I was with some friends, and I was in a friend's house, and I was so wasted. I went to the bathroom because I wanted to throw up so bad, and I hate throwing up. So I was almost crying, like, "Oh, why I do, why I do this to myself?" And then I, I look at myself in the mirror, and this is so hard to say, but I was disgusted by myself. And that was the moment when I realized alcohol wasn't supporting me in anything. And it was before we met again, because now my friends, and that they know that I used to drink, they think that I'm pretending because I'm with you, and I'm not pretending. So what do they do when you don't want to drink? What do you go out with them? Oh, they make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird for them. I think some of them accept it very well but it's hard for them to understand. Okay, so we came to the Jardín Botanico here in Medellín and Josa has new information for you. <laughs> so did you know that 28,000 species of plants are located here in Colombia? And 10% of those plants are, where? No, no, 10% of the plants worldwide, not of that. Worldwide? We're like in the world. And 10% of what? <laughs> no, dilo tú. And 10% of the plants found in the world are here in the Andes. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> Me, like, I have nothing against drinking. Like, I expect that I'll drink alcohol in, in some moment in my life. But I want to be able to drink 
not to avoid my emotions, not because I can't handle the moment, so I, I'm relying on alcohol or because I don't have the self-confidence. Like, I'm in a place in my life where if something supports my authenticity, I want it. If it doesn't, it's just a distraction and I want to push it away because, because that's what's most important to me. And I feel like if I can go out and go clubbing and have a really good time without drinking, okay, fine. If I drink, that's not, I'm not relying on the alcohol. But until I get to that point where I can go out and just like have a blast sober, then I'm not gonna drink. It feels so good when you start going out and dancing or just living nightlife without alcohol. I remember in Mexico, uh, we went dancing and it was my first time dancing with you or in general without alcohol. And before I couldn't imagine myself dancing without alcohol. Before I used to be like, no, I, I need to drink to dance. I need to drink to socialize. And I realized that alcohol doesn't support me in anything. And also it was like, a, an excuse for me to hide how unhappy I was. I would just invite anyone watching this to go out and where you normally would drink, whether it's at a wedding, a party, anything, try doing it without drinking. And if you're happy, okay, maybe you're not relying on alcohol. But if you're bored and you're uncomfortable and you don't have confidence, maybe start doing the work in order to be able to have those things without drinking. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel.